Yeah, Antonio Tarver will step into the ring tonight against Rocky Gannon in a 10-round light heavyweight bout. Hello again, everyone. Glad you could join us for boxing on ESPN2. I'm Bob Papa. Antonio Tarver won a bronze medal at the 1996 Olympics, but it was a disappointment. He was one of the most decorated amateur boxers the United States has ever seen. In fact, he is the first American to ever win a Pan Am title, a U.S. championship, and a world championship in the same year. That came in 1995. But 1996 was bitter disappointment in the Olympic Games. Meanwhile, Rocky Gannon is a man who's come oh so close to a championship, only to come up short in big bouts. That is our main event for tonight. Plus, Al Bernstein has his ringside report. And I welcome in my partner, Al Bernstein. And Al, you have to tip your cap to Antonio Tarver when you talk about his amateur career, but how different is his amateur career to his professional career? You know, he has brought the same thing into his pro career that he used so effectively as an amateur, and that is power. He literally overpowers light heavyweights. As a pro, he's been able to do that to a great extent. Eight of his ten fights have been knockouts, and he has shown that power. He's coming in off his biggest win, a TKO win in four rounds over Jose Rivera, the very same Jose Rivera who beat Rocky, who lost, who beat Rocky Gannon. So for Tarver at age 29, Bob, he feels poised to make a run at the light heavyweight title. Rocky Gannon says that he does not want to leave this game damaged. In his last fight on ESPN's championship boxing, before he took on Kenny Keene, he said he'd be more defensive. Didn't work out that way, so he's changed his trainer. He has Vic Leonard in his corner tonight. A lot of pressure, though, on Rocky because he's coming to the end of the line. You know, on two weeks' notice taking this fight, and with a record of 3-3 three and three in his last six fights, the burden of proof, no question, is on Rocky Gannon. Uh, he has to prove that he can deal with the power of Tarver, and for him the key to this fight well, may well be getting on the inside, getting inside that jab and straight left hand of Tarver, making this a brawl and hoping that that will disrupt Tarver's rhythm and he can get some things done. Antonio Tarver squares off against Rocky Gannon. Antonio Tarver comes in with a record of 10 and 0 and eight knockouts in his career. He's the 1996 bronze medalist from the Olympic Games, but Antonio Tarver was mightily disappointed in those Atlanta Olympic Games. Many had predicted him for a gold medal. Al Bernstein takes a look back at Tarver. It's something I probably never get over because I didn't feel I didn't feel, I, I didn't feel I lost the fight, you know. But it's something I'm not gonna cry, you know, sp over sp spilled milk. You know, I, I picked up the pieces, and uh, I, I'm on a, a journey now to become a world a light, light heavyweight world champion. They needed someone in some kind of direction in the corner, and I wasn't getting it. One of his best moments came in this win over Dominic Carter. He won it with his usual grit and gutsiness, but he'd like that to be just a little different in the future. Don't, don't get me wrong there, I love fighting and everything, but at the same time, I don't like getting my head bashed in. It's not, it's not a pretty sight. I don't want to be the person to walk out and be talking to you like I'm talking to you now. I don't want to talk to you and be slow and slurred, and I have already done that. And it, it's, it's there's, I, I'll get to a point to where no more. <laughs> He would like to leave this sport on his own terms and leave with his health. And Al, he took a step in that direction. Slim Perkins is out. Vic Leonard is in. New trainer. Well, you know, I don't think Rocky Gannon is ever going to be the most fundamentally sound fighter on earth. But he does need to improve in that area, and he acknowledged that. So he doesn't take a lot of punches. He does cut. And as he enters this ring with only two weeks' notice, very pivotal fight in his career, Bob. His last eight outings have all ended inside the limit. Three of them have been losses. Well, Rocky Gannon getting set to head into the the ring and what a contradiction between Gannon and Antonio Tarver. Uh, Gannon had absolutely no amateur experience. Tarver was a heralded amateur and you see the woman getting into the ring right now. That's his wife Nikki and there's a lot of concern because she is not only his manager and co-trainer but Nikki is battling a problem with her pancreas right now and she had to check herself out of the hospital to come here for this fight but they said business is business and they'll take care of that when they get home. Ten rounds, light heavyweights. Uh, you've got your instructions for tonight. I want you to do two things. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's do it. Antonio Tarver began boxing at the age of nine at the Southwest Boys Club in Orlando, Florida. He matured into one of the finest amateurs in the world in 1995 and 96. Time ready. Rocky Are Gannon, ready? on the other hand, from the Rocky school ready? of hard knocks. Rocky 29 and 8, 22 knockouts. Rocky Gannon 
has 20 of his 22 knockouts occurring in the first five rounds but he's also been knocked out four times in round number one Mike Dixon Tim Cooper Ole Klemetson and Dominic Carter all have gotten Gannon at round one Gannon has lost two of his last three by knockout on ESPN 2 in August of 1997 against Jose Rivera in Columbus Ohio and on ESPN's championship boxing on May the 16th in Boise Kenny Keene stopped him in round number 11. When you look at these two guys, now Gannon, his last time out, fought as a cruiserweight against Kenny Keene. We saw him lose in uh, Columbus, Ohio. But when you look at a Tarver, you look at how tall he is with a, uh, the same height and reach pretty much as Gannon, but he's big for a light heavyweight. Yeah, Gannon fought against Keene at 190 pounds. Now he is more at the weight that he's accustomed to in the mid-170s. Strangely, he fought his first eight fights as a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Now there's where Gannon Wait, Tony, needs back, to work back, uh, back, on the job. inside. They had a weigh-in today. Normally the weigh-in in professional boxing are the day still. before or the night before, but they weighed in the morning of 11 a.m. to be exact. But Gannon always being it's in shape, it wasn't an issue. And Tarver as well. Gannon did weigh in at 178 pounds. You know, so far in this bout, two two important things. Gannon's keeping his hands up very well, and he's able to step inside the Tarver jab pretty easily. Now, he hasn't made a lot happen because of that, but those are two good signs for him. There, however, you see Tarver uses the jab and then gets there with the straight left hand. Well, as Rocky Gannon told us this morning at the weigh-in, he just feels that no one has bothered to attack Tarver's body. Oh, Gannon's hurt already. Yeah. Car Tarver has power. If you stand on the end of his punches and you let him whack you with those shots, you are in big trouble. Now we have seen Rocky Gannon hurt in what looks like out. Of, he's got a cut on the bridge of his nose. It looks like he's out and he rallies. Yeah, you never count Gannon out until it's over. But even Rocky has expressed concern that he cannot do that anymore because, as he said, he wants to leave the sport with all of his faculties. See now on the inside Gannon's not working well and I said before the fight here that what you want to do is perfect your style as well as you can. See he's where he needs to be Gannon. He's not punching that effectively. Those are weak arm punches. He's not getting leverage on his shots. See look at those are not great punches. He needs to be making those more meaningful because he sure as heck isn't going to win this fight on the outside. Barbara hooks to the body as well. Final seconds of round one scheduled for 10 from West Virginia. Antonio Tarver and Rocky Gannon on the deuce. Oh. We begin round number two of the scheduled 10 round bout. Bob Papa, Al Bernstein back in Chester, West Virginia. Antonio Tarver and Rocky Gannon in a scheduled 10 round light heavyweight bout. Good job. Thank you. Punch numbers in round one. See Tarver with the nine punch edge and his punch is much sharper. Some of those punches landed which appropriately were kind of with kind of pinny pad. Here's Tarver switching back and forth from lefty to righty. He's very adept at that. He did it very well in the fight against Jose Rivera. And that was a big fight for him. He ended up winning a TKO in the fourth round on a cut but he was dominating Rivera during that fight. And of course Rivera scored a knockout win over Gannon the last time they fought. Rocky pressuring Tarver a little bit. Mentioned that Gannon made a little change in his corner. There's Vic Leonard. They hope to make him more effective, add some more defense, make his punches a little more effective. You see, there's Gannon pushing the punch, though, and I'm sure Vic Leonard doesn't like to see that. He has a habit of pushing that right hand, not throwing it, bending at the waist appropriately. And he does that with the hook also. Gannon trained at the top rank gym in Las Vegas, sparred with Mike McCallum and Orlin Norris. Rocky is uh, relocated to Las Vegas, my hometown. He says he loves it. He said, I will never live anywhere else but there. Ditto. I, I echo his thoughts. Yeah, it's, it's a nice town. It's probably a little bit crowded. But when you're on the outskirts where you are and Rocky is, it's very comfortable. It has grown, that's for sure. And Jim, he trains in the top rank gym, is a great facility. Now, in this, in this round, there's Tarver using the X. Oh, there it is. Down. You use the jab, and the straight left hand will follow. Count at eight. 
Gannon says he's fine. The jab and then the left out. Tar some say Tarver has a one-dimensional attack. That's what Jimmy Williams is, trainer, uh, is trying to change. But I'll tell you what, one-dimensional or not, that jab and straight right hand that Tarver has will knock out most light heavyweights. And you see, there's Tarver digging to the body. That's some of the new wrinkles that they've worked on as a pro with him. Oh, nice straight oh, left. Gannon's down. You can make a case that this fight should be over, and it is over. Ernie Tufato has stopped it, rightfully so. Because let me tell you something, Al. You don't see Rocky Gannon get knocked out like that. No. Normally he takes a pounding, gets caught, is in a walk. He just got pummeled in two rounds. What Antonio Tarver brings to the dance is what we saw here tonight and what poor Rocky Gannon felt. This man, Antonio Tarver, at age 29, is ready to make his move in the light heavyweight division because he has that power. Probably a couple of more fights against top light heavyweights, and I would think they would want to look for a, a light heavyweight title matchup.